that problem based on receipt and payment account this based on assets and liabilities how the money has been priced has been changes depends upon the price changes inflation accounting has been taken into consideration so there is a loss on account of price changes to the extent of 93742 when the price of the commodity rises generally what will happen no the purchasing power will become gone hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanian call by name dr b s s professor in commerce and management vidya ashram first grade college a temple of excellence mysuru today i am going to hang corporate investment into four semester unit say session 1 in favor of b com it favor the account goes in favor of inflation accounting one theory question will be asked today in this session i am going to solve about the three problems on inflation account one based on receipt and payment account one based on assets and liability one based on sales and purchases hope we'll solve the problem one by the three in this session we'll move on to problem now introduction inflation occurs when the money in circulation exceeds the production of commodities and service depends on how the money has been priced has been changes depends upon the price changes inflation accounting has been taken into consideration consequently in an inflationary environment the purchasing power of money falls and the price of the commodity and service rise when the price of the commodity rises generally what will happen no the purchasing power will become gone then due to unpredictable pressure of inflationary price increase in most countries in recent decades accounting for changing prices which is known as inflation accounting has become the synonymous has become synonymous with accounting for inflation if the price of the article generally goes the purchasing power generally reduces so there is a change in prices that is called the inflation accounting which has been become the synonymous with accounting for inflation accounting is considered we'll move on to problem now a firm had rupees 5 lakhs as cash at bank on 1st april 2017 the consumer price index on that day the index number on that day was 200 during the year ended 31 the receipts and payments were stated as before your receipts are You got one lakh sales, one lakh twenty thousand. Index is two hundred and ten. January twentieth sales three lakh eighty thousand. Your index is two thirty. These are all the payments. Cost two lakh one lakh. Index are two one five, two four zero, two twenty five. Ascertain the profit or loss on account of price changes. The year end date index was two forty. you have to change the index one by one see that the base index was 200 how to solve the problem i'll tell you opening balance was 5 lakh see that that day index was 200 today's index is 240 so though which is valuing for be 5 lakh 200 becomes 240 5 lakh becomes 6 lakh today that day it was 5 lakh today it's valuing how much very 6 lakh then receipt On tenth, you got one lakh twenty thousand. That day's index is two hundred and ten. If you see that, you can understand two hundred and ten. Today's index is two forty. The value becomes one lakh thirty-seven one forty-three. Then January twentieth, three lakh eighty thousand. That day index was two thirty. Today's index was two forty. It is raised to three lakh ninety-six thousand five twenty-two. So total, this is ten lakh. Now it has been raised to eleven lakh thirty three six sixty five. Regarding the payment circle, September two lakh. That day index see that two hundred and fifteen two forty divided by two forty is this two lakh twenty three thousand two fifty six. All should be raised. Index should be raised. It is one lakh. Now today it's also two forty divided by two forty is one lakh only. December fifth is. Two lakh fifty. That index was two twenty five. Two forty divided by two twenty five is two lakh sixty six thousand six sixty seven. 
the value is 5,50,000. Here 5,89,923. From 10 lakh deduct 5,50,000. This is historical. The real value was 4,50,000. So today's value is 5,43,742. There is a loss on account of price changes. The price has been changed. 4,50,000 to 5,43,000. So there is a loss on account of price changes to the extent of 93,742. Just the number index number has been changed. See that 5 lakh that day. Today's value the 6 lakh. 1 lakh 20 has been changed to 1 lakh 37,143. Then 3 lakh 80,000 become 3 lakh 96,223. The real historical value was. 10 lakh. Today it's valuing 11 lakh 33,665. Then here if you come 2 lakh, it has become 2 lakh 23,256. Then it is 1 lakh. Here also index is 240, it becomes 1 lakh. Then 2 lakh 50,000 become 2 lakh 66,667. The total of this is 5 lakh 50,000. From 10 lakh deduct 5 lakh 50,000. Balance is 4,50,000. Then here the constant is market value. The, the price changes value was 9,33,665. Now if you deduct this, no, it is 5,43,742. The real value was 4,50,000. After index it becomes 5,43,742. There is a difference of rupees 93,742. That is a loss on account of price changes. 10 mass for this, very easy. You have to see, look after the index number. Then we'll move on to next problem. Depends upon assets and liabilities now. Following are the particulars of XYZ Limited. Asset 34 December. Your cash at bank, one one needs 10 lakh, 20,000. Book debts means debtors. 40,000, 50,000, credit are 30,000, 40,000, load 40,000, 40,000. One one index is 200, then 3040 is 300, then average for the year is 240. Calculate a net monetary result he is asking. So that problem based on receipt and payment account, this based on assets and liabilities. Here, monetary asset. Cash at bank was 10 lakh, index is 200, two days is 300, 300 divided 200 becomes 15,000, then book debts means debt are 40, 300 becomes 60,000, increase in monthly asset, cash at bank 10,000 becomes 20,000, there is an increase of 10,000 becomes 12,500, book debts 40,000 becomes the 50,000. This increase of 10,000 becomes 12,500. Total of the net asset is 70,000. It becomes 1 lakh. Loss on holding the monetary asset is about 30,000. If you hold the asset value, though it is 70,000, showing how much money? 1 lakh. There is a loss on holding the monetary asset is minus 30,000. Come back. So that goes in favor of assets. Liability side, credit are here now 30,000 become 45,000. Loan 40,000 become 60,000. Increase in monetary liability, which is increased now. Problem sees. We see the problem loan 40, 40, 30, 30,000 becomes the 40,000. Only liability has been increased. Increase in monetary liability 10,000 becomes 12,500. If you add this figure, totally 70,000, it becomes 1,17,500. Gain on holding the liability, we are not yet paid. We are not yet paid how much very 37,500. Here, loss on holding the margin, you hold the margin, which is not a gain for us, it is considered as a loss. Liability means uh, gain on holding the liability, we are not yet paid how much very. 37,500. For a time being, we assume there is a gain. So the net gain is 30,000 is a loss. 37,500 is a net gain is 7,500. Here, the idea is we hold the asset, monetary asset has been hold. 
but not properly utilize the so we assume that as a loss liability we have not yet paid here the liability which you have not yet paid the net gain is 37500 out of 37500 deduct the th the difference amount to 30000 the net gain is 7500 this is based on assets and liabilities are concerned then we we'll move on third problem the following information relating to malar limited for the year ending and calculate the net monetary gain or loss for the year 2013 net monetary asset on 112000 5000 net monetary asset on 31 december is 35000 transaction given below cash sale is 40000 credit sale is 50000 Credit purchase is thirty-five thousand, wages is ten thousand, other operating expenses is five thousand, interest paid on thirty-four December is ten thousand. Your index are one one hundred, thirty-four December one fifty, average for the year is one twenty-five. They just raise. This is the monetary values. We'll go. Net monetary asset one one is five thousand, index is hundred, one fifty divided hundred is seven thousand five hundred. Total sale, cash sale plus credit sale, forty plus fifty is ninety thousand. So one fifty divided one twenty five, one lakh eight thousand. So this is nothing but totally value is ninety five thousand. This is one lakh fifteen thousand five hundred. Now regarding that, this is a, is a this is monetary asset. Now ex sales are considered as a cash inflows, purchases cash outflows, wages are cash outflows. We say then. These are all the outflows, cash sale inflows, credit sales also we are collecting from the retail, credit purchases we have to pay, outflows come, purchases thirty five thousand, index is one twenty five become forty two thousand, wages ten thousand. Now today it's valuing rupees twelve thousand, operating expenses five thousand, index is one fifty become six thousand, interest paid ten thousand become here ten thousand only. It is raise ten thousand one fifty divided by one twenty five. It is ten thousand only. Then totally it is three thousand five hundred. Interest paid index is one fifty. If we see that back side net monetary asset on one one is five thousand one fifty by hundred is seven thousand five hundred. Add total sale cash sale plus credit sale ninety thousand. One fifty by one twenty five is one lakh eight thousand. The total of the sales means cash inflows ninety five thousand historical cost as per the current price level is considered one lakh fifteen thousand five hundred. So purchases means outflows. Purchase means outflows thirty five thousand to raise forty two thousand. Wages ten thousand twelve thousand raised. Operating expense five thousand is one. So interest. What is my assumption now? Here see that. There was a general average price of one index is there. I took the interest is an average price. That's why it took one fifty year. So ten thousand becomes the ten thousand. So because the price fluctuation is very less, especially interest is considered. I took as one fifty only. So sixty thousand, seventy thousand. So if you see that ninety five thousand minus sixty thousand is thirty five thousand. Then one lakh fifteen thousand five hundred. Minus forty-five thousand five hundred. So there is a difference of thirty-five thousand loss on monetary asset. Historical cost is considered net monetary losses forty-five thousand five hundred minus here thirty-five thousand five hundred. So if we direct now, this is nothing but ten thousand five hundred is net monetary loss only for this item. My assumption is it's an average price I have taken. If you want, you can take even one twenty-five also. But generally, in the what's called generally, the price index will go for index number as average price. That is, it took as index number as one fifty. So here, nothing is there. One is cash sales are called cash inflows. Purchases all this called outflows. So out of the inflows, outflow will be deducted. The real value was thirty five thousand as per the market price is considered as forty five thousand five hundred. So there is a difference of thirty five thousand. But market price is forty-five thousand. So net monetary loss workout 
10,500. Hope you understand. I solved in this session about the three problems relating to inflation account. So all the three, one is based on receipt and payment account, second is based on assets and liability, third is based on net asset, sales and purchases. All types of problems have been solved here. Hope definitely it will help you from the examination point of view. Hope we can understand because be careful, go slow and understand the problem and raise the index according to the price index are given. Hope you understand this. Best of luck in the examination. Go through all the problem inflation accounting. Theory question will come. This problem definitely will come. Hope you understand. All the three types I have solved here. One based on receipt and payment account. One based on assets and liability. One based on sales and purchases. Hope you understand this. Best of luck in the examination. All the three problem, three types I have solved. Thank you very much.